My name is Nick Carroll. I'm at Nottingham Park to play 10 holes of disc golf. This round we'll be using the short tees instead of the long tees because I'm dealing with the camera and uh, this will take longer than it needs to. This will be a best throw or best shot doubles round for myself and uh, we're going to get things going. The basket is down that way. I'm going to go ahead and start out with my leopard and then my FD. My FD is a little closer, so I'm going to try to get a birdie. Nope. Alright, I feel a little bit bad because I took that uh, first hole a little unseriously. I had a chance for birdie, and I let myself get hurried and not try to focus and narrow down my putting style the way I'm supposed to to try to successfully complete decent sized putts. That was maybe a 20 foot putt and I've made a number of those. So next time I will know to slow down and focus and then putt and then wait a little bit of time between both putts to give me enough chance to successfully make that basket. One of the things that uh, caused me to hurry was there were two people at the tee pad for hole one and I let myself get influenced too much and try to hurry to get out of their way. And it's something I simply have to get a hold of. So now I'm going to go ahead and throw on hole two. And disc golf is a learning experience. That's why I'm doing this doubles match as well because I want to learn how to change my throwing style and the angles, etc., based on you know mistakes I make. So it's all part of the game. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. That was rough.
so the camera is where the other disc landed. All right, the next basket is straight ahead. So I just lost my keys. I had to go walk back to the previous hole or two to uh, actually to the basket of the previous hole to grab them. So that was unfortunate. So I'm keeping it in my pocket instead of my bag. Okay, so the basket is straight ahead that away. Uh, let's see what my options are. So both of these drivers went the same distance. I'm just going to use this one because it's a little bit more out in the op open, but these are equal distance from the tee and equal distance from the basket, which is over there. All right, let's see what I can do. Okay, so I had two good choices. This one is slightly better, so I'm going to go ahead and go with this one. Soft bed followed by a run. All right, so it's windy as all get out, and I've got to <laughs> get into the basket there. The wind is actually behind me as I'm throwing, so hopefully that'll help. But unfortunately, it's going to make the audio quality very bad. All right, it would be nice to capitalize on these birdie opportunities. But I'll take a part. All right, this is a little bit of a big one, but at least there's nothing in the way. Let's see how close I can go. Looks like I need to run it. Oh well, looks like an easy par. Yep, looks good to me. Okay, the last hole is just up ahead. Let's see what I can do to close this game out.
Okay, I get the feeling I just missed recording that upshot from there. I tried to run it twice with two different discs, and each of them were about three feet from the pole. So regardless, I'm getting a par, and that's going to do it. All right, so this is a good little course. I'm glad I got a chance to play it. It was a lot more exhausting and tired than I would like it to have been. It's in the heat of the day, and it's very windy, but uh, I had fun. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.